Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, and getting 1% better than yesterday and breaking free from whatever is holding you back. I'm doing the same. I love my break free journey. It's my passion, my purpose. Every day I wake up excited and just try to get it all in and I never can, but it just gets me excited for the next day. Um, today, I kind of took a me day, um, just me at the house, solo. I did one shop this morning. It was about $20. It was a spark delivery. I did have to uh, go out to Port Byron, this town that's a little bit uh, away from the town that I'm in. And I was getting pretty deep out there and I'm looking around and I don't see a house number. And I'm like, come on, you know, what the heck? So I, I have this one package and I go up to the porch and there's another package on the porch and I, I glance at it and I see that it's the right address. I'm okay. I put it on the porch and I have to click all the buttons on the app. Where did you put it? You have to take a picture of it. And so as I'm taking a picture of it, a guy comes out. What are you taking a picture of? I go, oh no. I go, I'm here for Walmart delivery. And he, okay, okay. But it's just like, oh man, that was kind of cringe. I was like, oh, don't be mad. But I got out of there and I did my follow-up blood work today. Did some errands, checked out the thrift stores, no go, but it's the thrill of the hunt. And now I'm home just doing some stuff around the house, and I've got a few topics that I want to talk about today. The first is going to be mental strength. The second is going to be some tips to break free and become the best version of yourself. The third is going to be starting anew, which kind of talked a little bit about on yesterday's video, and... You know, new things, if you're not exactly content with where you are, you're not going to change it by just doing the same old thing. I think there's some new things that we could try. And then the next is going to be finding a sense of meaning and not distracting yourself from that meaning. So the first thing I want to talk about is mental strength. And I did find a Bible verse that spoke to me about this. Isaiah 41.10, it says, Fear though not, for I am with thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness to keep me strong, to keep you held up. And these are some things what five mentally, five tips that mentally strong people do. Number one, to move on and don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. If I ever have a mistake at work, I think of myself that I just have to move on like a professional would. If you make a bad pitch in a baseball game. You got to throw the next one. If you miss the game winning shot, well, you might be there again in the next game. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Move on and know that you will be upheld. Number two is to embrace change and to welcome challenges, um, to get out of your comfort zone and to learn new things and to grow with challenges. And there might be some pain in that growth, but that is the growth. So embrace change and welcome challenges. Number three is to stay happy and don't waste time on things that you can't control. That is a muscle that I have to flex. That's why I always talk about it on this channel. Do not waste time on things that you cannot control. And every day is a new day to practice that. Number four, to be kind, to be fair, and not to be afraid to speak up. Um, there was times when I was afraid, and when I did speak up recently, as I documented on this um, journey of mine, good things came for it. You know, I was kind, I was, I've, I was fair, I like to try to be that in all situations, nobody's perfect, and nobody's perfect with not being afraid to speak up. But I put myself in a position of strength mentally and financially and and in other areas to be able to stand up and speak up for myself and i'd like to think that that was a sign of mental strength and also number five is to celebrate the success of others and do not resent that success and comparison is the thief of joy and i waste no time on comparing myself with others it doesn't doesn't cross my mind. If anything, I'm very happy for their successes. And if there is somebody who is maybe not doing as well as me that I might perceive mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, physically, then that's something that I want to help them out on. Not that, okay, I'm winning that, that game because it's not, it's not either way. It's just being kind, being fair, 
and prioritizing happiness and just moving on and doing the best that you can. And I hope I'm trying to be mentally strong every day. It's a practice. Next thing I want to talk about is 12 tips to help you break free and to become the best version of yourself. And I also wanted to connect that with the Bible. And I looked up and a, a verse that spoke to me is Timothy 4.15, where it says, Take pains with these things, be absorbed in them, so that your progress will be evident to all. And so I'm thinking, okay, so do I take pains in these things? Do, am I absorbed in these things? And hopefully my progress will become evident I shouldn't have to explain my philosophy. I should embody it and people should be able to just see it and not just go by my words. And so some of the things that I got here is just to do the right thing. It's always going to help you on your break free journey. Prioritize happiness. That has been a major thing for me the last four or five years. There was a time I remember just when the girls were like two and you know they brought me joy, but I, I did not have a lot of joy in, in my days. And I was like, what the heck? This should be the best time of my life. Um, these are the best days of my life. And I really wanted to work towards prioritizing happiness to not feel like that, to not be succumbed to seasonal depressions or, or to worry about things that are outside of my control or to worry about change or to feel sorry for myself or to compare myself with others as I just spoke about mental strength. But to prioritize happiness, to work at it, it's, I don't think it's something that you just snap, I do think it's something that you work at through gratitude, um, through philosophy, through prayer, through activities, through action. And I've tried to do that. Also to train your discipline. Every day is a new training ground to be disciplined with spending, to be disciplined with diet, to be disciplined with what you say um, and how you act. And that is gonna help you on your break free journey. Also number four is to embrace discomfort. Um, I like to think that that makes me mentally stronger. I also think that we can get little pleasures out of life that might ease some of that discomfort, but that's not gonna necessarily help us on our break free journey as we break free from vices and from consumerism and from maybe comfort foods too often. Um, embrace the discomfort of that and that will help you on your break free journey. Number five, watch yourself talk. I suffered maybe from imposter syndrome before. I have suffered from self doubt, um, you know, maybe just negative thinking, but no, to have a positive attitude. And just like we talked about on, on previous episodes, just, and the magic of thinking big, think, fail, and you'll fail and think success and you will succeed. So watch yourself talk in every situation. And when it pops in, quiet that monkey mind, take a step back, enjoy the present. Number six, invest in knowledge. Uh, books have changed my life. And I don't have a ton of books and I'm not going to say I've, I've read the most books ever but certain books have changed my life and even investing your time into knowledge by things that you consume will also and things that you read and things uh, that you see will also help your knowledge and knowledge is power and knowledge is going to help us on our break free journey even to become aware of some of these things to become aware of financial independence to become aware that you can become debt free Become aware of different diets, um, of mental, of tips for mental strength, of of finding meaning. Um, knowledge is key. Look after your body. Just talking with a couple people yesterday. Um, you know, older guy fell, broke his hip. He had to go to physical therapy. Great guy, and he thought they were going to move his arms for him and stuff. He, he was, he didn't know he had to do the physical therapy. And I'm talking to an, an older gentleman who walks every day and does this and that. And the other guys is, is a little bit more sedentary and, you know, talking about his diet and that stuff's key. And I think, especially as we get older and that is a very key component on my break free journey. I want to look after my body. 
Number eight is to tolerate no negativity, not for ourselves and not in others. Um, you know, sometimes we can't avoid it if it's in our workplace, but there's a lot of things that we can avoid, whether it's the news or negative things that we consume. And if it is in your workplace, you know, go into your, what is it? you can go within yourself to avoid that and just kind of keep it out, tune it out. Do not tolerate that in your life. In your life, do not let it affect you. Number nine, rely on no substances. You know, what are you going to rely on a cigarette before work to get you through your day, after your day? How much caffeine do you got to need to get through your day? How many drinks do you have to have when you get home to de-stress? Um, you know, rely on no substances in addictions. And number 10 is to be surrounded by success. And that can be within your physical area. And it can also be with what you consume. You know, you can be surrounded by success by the people who you listen to. Um, I like to think of myself also as having a team of advisors that aren't necessarily with me, but can be throughout history. And that is a topic that is in Think and Grow Rich, a book. And it could be anyone you look up to in business, in health, in finance, in exercise, in spirituality. And all these five advisors are going to surround you with their success. And you can draw on that. And you can even kind of like talk, okay, what would these guys do? What would they advise me to do? And I like to think of that sometime as my own kind of cabinet or council. And that's just another way that we can surround ourselves with success. And then talking about starting anew. And if you're feeling stuck, if you're not content, try new things. If you're not at peak happiness, try new things. To tie this into the Bible, Ephesians 1.23. I have a hard time saying that word. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And yes, our mind has to be renewed daily throughout the day. Um, try new exercises. I want to get more into yoga. Get out of your comfort zone. New content that you consume. Hopefully this and other channels like it. Books. Um, you know, a new way of thinking. New friends. I feel like there's been so many new connections that I've made through here um, in this channel. And that, that renews me. Um, daily. It's so great. And I hope I can give the same to you. New jobs, new hobbies. I think this is a hobby for me. I also want to get better at filmmaking and better at speaking. And as far as new jobs, you know, I put myself in the gig economy and that has brought newness to my life. So new, new, new. And that is going to get you out of the rut, rut, rut and not being content. And finally, a quote by Viktor Frankl that I thought was very interesting. And he has some great ones. And this one is, when a man can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. And I used to distract myself with pleasure. And if reality was surface level, I think I maybe was digging a hole down keep digging, keep digging. And, you know, then you're going to find yourself in a deep hole that you have to climb out of a deep hole of regret, a deep hole of debt, a deep hole of wasted time, um, a deep hole of finding pleasures in objects that won't last. And this can be tied to a Bible verse, Corinthians ten thirteen, that says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way to escape. And I think that's what spoke to me about this verse, escape, to break free. 
that you may be able to endure it. And I have been able to endure everything thrown at me so far. And I think there's a quote by Marcus Aurelius that says, if you can endure it, endure it. Stop complaining. And if you can't endure it, you'll be dead and it won't matter anyways. So I'm enduring and not only enduring, but thriving, I, I would hope. And, you know, I'm not distracting myself with pleasure. I'm trying to just become the best version of myself that I can be. And I know that I can endure any challenges that come my way. And that kind of speaks to the list of break free is to train your discipline and to embrace discomfort. It doesn't say to embrace pleasure. And um, it doesn't say to embrace um, no discipline or to do the wrong thing or to not invest in your body or to tolerate negativeness and rely on substances. No, all the opposite is to um, find meaning and not distract yourself with pleasure. Not that I don't seek pleasure because I do, but I don't distract myself with it. I can find pleasure with doing the right thing and that has been a key component for me. So I hope you guys are finding some pleasure today, finding your meaning. I hope that you can start a new daily, get ready for every day. It's just a new day to become the best version of ourselves, to become mentally strong and to break free. And I hope you have a great day. I can't wait to hear how you're doing. It's one of the best parts of my day and I will be talking with you very soon. Break free.